does it feel so cold inside my heart tonight? Be my man is what she said. It's not just the wind that's moving around tonight. But quick and clean, don't we get right? Last week we were talking a lot about the huts, and I was saying that when you get in the gully and get a heap of signals, it's a good idea to get up and have a look and find the hut and then you can establish that that was an area that was rich and that's why they built their hut there. And one of the things I like about the videos is we get a bit of feedback. During the week I spoke to a lady and she said, oh, you did the whole thing on the huts. She said, but you didn't show us any huts. And I said, yes, I did. I put my hand on the stones. I said, I showed you where one chimney was. And I said, there was another one that was hard to see. It had been more of it where they'd had their tent and had a few stones at the end. And she said, look, you doby bendy back, grey-haired, grey stick insect. <laughs> I didn't see any huts. Well, I know mothers can be cruel, but that's what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to show you a hut where, where we, when you're out the bush and you're looking for huts, this is all you'll see. Now, this one here is very clear. You don't have to be Sherlock Holmes to see it, but... Oh, I'm a... From this angle, the square goes there and around. I'm going to turn around soon. You, you talk them around it, Ant. You, sh you show them around. Yeah. So that's obviously the, the chimney pile over there. And if I turn around, you can see it a bit better from this angle. There you can see the square up there. So here it is. There. This is where, this where they've dug it in. And as Ant said, that's the chimney up here. The interesting thing about this one is how big it is. If you have a look from here, it's damn near four metres long. It's, it, so it's been a big hut and it's almost as wide. It's a rectangle, but it's almost as wide, probably at least three metres wide. And the reason for that is there were four blokes living in this hut, I would say. And what they've done is they've drilled themselves a dam up there to sluice out the whole gully. So you'd say it was getting up towards after 1855. After 1855, they relaxed the mining uh, licences. You weren't paying 30 shillings a month. You were only paying 20 shillings a year. So blokes were more inclined to get in a spot, build infrastructure, because they got a bigger claim. They weren't getting the old gold rush claim of eight feet by eight feet. The mining warden would say, yes, if you blokes are willing to put in that dam and you can just see the bank of a dam wall up there, you're going to spend time here. We'll, we'll give you the half the gully or the whole gully in your claim. So four blokes have lived here. So to get back to my original point, the floor of this hut, you imagine four blokes have lived here. They're in here splitting up their gold. Who knows they haven't dropped a little bit of gold. I've lost gold in my house and couldn't find it. Uh, I'm, bloody, uh, I'm not like, if you lose it in Anne's house, I get lost in Anne's house. You know? <laughs> but in my two bedroom little shack, uh, I've lost gold on the on the lino, on the threadbare lino. <laughs> <laughs> so, detect the floor, have a look around. There'll be a hole here somewhere where they've dropped their bottles. Dig that out, get down in the gully, and that'll be the, one of the richest parts down there in the gully. And if you come over here, I'll show you over here. Well, I've just been having to my eye. Here. Try away to see wash stones. There's a little bit of glass from a, from an old pickle jar or something like that with a with a big neck. You see all these wash stones here. There's the water race here. There's the water race so there. There's the bank bank of the dam over here. This is all washed. This is where they put wash up and wash it in their own races. And if they were commercial races, you weren't allowed to tamper with them, you weren't allowed to use them. But these blokes owned the races themselves. Their dam, their water, they can please themselves. So they've put an offshoot off the race here. The main race goes down there. So they've got an off offshoot on. Had a bit of fall, had a sluice box in there. 170 years ago, there's been a bloke in here with his little, with his sluice fork, putting his sluice stones out there. A bloke, my height but younger, got gold off that heap. That was a, that was a while ago. That was 
that was when I had long black hair all down my back. And <laughs> now I've got none on my head. <laughs> so that's the story of, of the hut. So I just wanted to show you a hut. Now, good news for us. We've got a, a borrow detector. We have a three-part agenda. Oh, and Ant, St. Anthony, as he is, but <laughs> he's bought me a new pick, so I've got a new golden boy to play with. I'm ready to rock and roll today. We're going to head up. I oh, know there's a, uh, a reef mine where they've, they've ripped. We're going to head up there and detect there. Then we're going to have the second part of the relic challenge. We're going to detect for an hour on the relics. And then the third part of our day, we're going to whip back to where we got the gold last week and do a bit of raking and try and get a bit there. But because Ant's been back and forth to the hospital with his detector, it's damn Which near coil has now been sent away back yeah. to my lab. So yeah. it wasn't a it wasn't an operator issue. No, <laughs> it that's wasn't right. my fault. Thanks for everyone that, that that wrote in though and said check the buttons on the yeah. front and that. You know, yeah, we checked I wasn't it all. I wasn't aware of that, and uh, but and that wasn't the issue. Yeah. But well done and keep it up. Right out, we're going to get on it. That's it. Let's do Join it, Ant. Cheers, mate. If you're playing along at home, Ants and I have had one stop off. We stopped at a, at a reef line where we both got specimens before but did no good. So we moved to our second spot and this is where we had the, the relic off last week where we had a competition of who could get the best thing in an hour. We we're so pleased with ourselves, we come back there again to have a go uh, and hunt for relics. I'm gonna get my revenge today. <laughs> so you were the judge, two parts <laughs> of the competition, best thing and best collection of things. Oh, so yeah, last week, good. Ant believes that he would have won, uh, he had the most good things but my belt buckle blew him out of the water. So two sections this week, you're the judge. We've just stopped for Smogo. I had to pack my own lunch <laughs> today. <laughs> so I'm on lollies and lemonade, but uh, well, I'm no stranger. The last green thing I ate was bread. <laughs> Ant's got tuna, fruit, water. Uh, you, you can see which one of us will make 100, which one will cargo off when you're 75. But never mind, we're having a bang up day. That's it. Haven't Beautiful found anything of value yet but we're out the bush we're having fun that's and it we've still got half a day to go half oh well, no but we've still got a quarter of a day today and had to take his baby to the hospital mm. baby detector it is so mm. we're working on a short day right out that's where we're at at the moment thanks Glenn. good on you Ant. looking good Glenn. <laughs> we're two minutes into the relics challenge and because we haven't filmed any digging so far today we're gonna film this one gonna film this one the Garrett, uh, I've just been working off the sound as much as anything, less so off the numbers, but it's showing a relatively high number, it's showing 75. And had a look with his detector, and he reckons if he was on the beach, he'd call it as a bottle top. But whatever it is, it'll take me to an early two minute lead in the, in the, in the challenge, <laughs> because we haven't, we haven't dug anything. It's the first target. It's our first, the first target, and hopefully it'll be something to, down. There's an illusion then I'll... Mm. <laughs> oh, we just get on its back and see what we got. Could be another target. Something pretty big by the sound of it, which makes me think sometimes when you, with these, when you're digging a, you know, if you get a sheet of tin or something like that, it'll give it that, that better signal until you actually find it, which, there it is there. Ooh. <laughs> so it's... <laughs> oh, you're on the board, Glenn. <laughs> it's that. Uh... <laughs> what do we call it? Pioneers, <laughs> bloody uh, bulletproof vest. <laughs> so, it could be a piece of Ned Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Well, that's leading at the moment. <laughs> I don't want to influence you, but that's leading at the moment. Right now, Ant. Nice one, I'll kick my hole in. <laughs> right now, we're at the end of our relic challenge. Neither of us have set the world on fire. We've cut it short. We've only given it about a half an hour. If we've got. Ant's on a strict curfew, he's got to be back and pick up his partner at five o'clock. Yep. And uh, I'll throw it to the general public should he stretch it out, <laughs> stretch it out for an extra 40 minutes and get into trouble. Oh, <laughs> oh Glenn. <laughs> or go straight home. So <laughs> cast your votes now whether Ant should 
go for the gold or, or keep the woman that he's going to have for the next 70 years. <laughs> it's up to you, you folks at home. Mm. Right, Anne's got a signal here. I'll get her answer, I'm not in the sun. Anne's got a signal here. As I said, the relic challenge hasn't, we haven't done much. It was getting high numbers, but it's starting to break down a bit. I'm a bit worried for his sake that uh, uh, 17, 18, 22. a bigger piece of uh, metal, you know, like something that's overloading a little bit. But if you can pluck something out here, he's got one uh, good target, I've got one good target. Then I've stuffed my pockets with everything I could pick, <laughs> <laughs> pick <Of course> up <laughs> so, so I could ring, win the group challenge. So don't forget it's best thing and best group of things. So if Ant can pluck something out here. It's losing interest, is it? Mm. And as you know, it's got a, uh, a special talent for bugger and metal detectors, bugger and coils and <laughs> metal detectors. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> so if this one shut, shuts down. No, last week we, it was a bloody terrible shock to me when Anne's detector. It was like being in battle and one man's down. You think, geez, that's a bastard. I'm glad it wasn't me. <laughs> but not that I've ever been in battle, but my grandfather killed three men in the war. He was a cook. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not that piece of glass. Not that piece of glass. But I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it, put it's it going in, in the pocket. pocket. Yeah. yeah, go in the group. Yeah, because it's pretty slim picking. <laughs> Ant's oh. knocking down a bit of a shaft here. Yeah. I'm, I'm as oh, hopeful oh. as he, he is. That it's good ground to detect in this sort of... It's, it's pretty inert, the ground itself. What numbers is it showing now, Ant? It's jumping from still like 17th up to low 30s. Oh, well, you blokes from Equinoxes. It's an Equinox, isn't it? Yeah. You blokes from Equinoxes, you, you'll, know, you'll be all over this. So the sooner we get it out in our, our hands. It's not. You'd reckon if it was anything decent, it'd bloody uh, be a bit more constant, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah exactly. That's what I'm worried because it's still jumping everywhere. Yeah. It's not the, the numbers aren't solid or anything. It's bloody nice where I'm, I'm laying back in the pines. Though if you if you were frightened of spiders, you wouldn't want to be in here because they're all. Everything. They're building a, a bridge between the two pines and they don't, they've got no bite in them but you have them hanging off your face and going over you to detect it so uh, not fun. it's not as much fun as uh, you might think. But detect, detecting's fun, Ant, isn't it? I 100%. Mean, oh yeah, detecting's like sex, even when it's bad it's still pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to fill in here for this bloke. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, Yeah, have a look with yours, see what you think. No worries. Righty-o, uh, Mr. Mum, if you're watching, that was a bang up bit of camera work. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 Mr. Mum said tongue in cheek that I was a Steven Spielberg of uh, <laughs> a, a phone, <laughs> phone filming. There could be a couple of signals. Oh, that's in exactly there. what I'm thinking, Ant. You've dug a series of signals. Oh, 
So, here's the first one. Sensational. <laughs> Hey, that would be more. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Bloke finds a bent nail and he's swooping to take it off. He's like a bloody seagull on a hot chip. <laughs> Straight into the judging. Bit of black glass. Normally I wouldn't pick that up, but after Ant put his bloody. Uh... <laughs> so, bottom of a black glass view bottle. Push up with a pontal. Hand blown, hand, or, or almost hand blown, made, made in a, uh, blown into a, whatever you want to call that. This is slightly interesting. That's cool. That's for a door. Oh. Because it's shaped like that, of it is. that's banged into a green log, you know, they, they cut a tree down. That's for hanging the door in, so that's made by their blacksmith. Hmm. That's number two. As you can see, I'm pushing hard for the, the group. <laughs> the line spike. <laughs> I knew that was rubbish, but I thought I'd dig him in here. Um, back off a rivet. I'm struggling for both those modern day things, uh, you know, bits of bullets or whatever. You, you blokes that are hunters would know that's some sort of brass bloody casing that's impacted by the look of that. Um, bit of metal. Pull tab, mm. that'd be from probably 2018. <laughs> rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. This tiny little thing, tiny little bit of decoration off nice. something, mm. which lends weight to the, you know, how we thought there might have been a, a lady or a woman uh, living in here. Now this buckle, you get a lot of these buckles, but this one, this is, this is, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's complete and, and normally they're just like that. They don't have the little little bridge across there. Mm. So uh, the coffee bush kid was good enough to, to, to write to us last week and let us know about our... So coffee bush kid, you'll know what they, they come off and, and if there's any significance to the bridge and whether that's enough to win me the contest. Righto, Ant, give us the phone. You get yours out, mate. Nice, good work. How was you? Other way, mate. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, Jesus. I'll, I'll learn eventually. One day. Yeah, one day, yeah. <laughs> That's what the nuns used to say when they were whacking me with a bloody ruler. <laughs> well, I'll start with my uh, last one of the day. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, bent that, nail. Technically, that's our, our <laughs> find. Yep. That's a joint, joint <laughs> effort, that one. I also have a little nail, a big nail. This was that first thing I found, Glenn. Oh yeah, that's off, that's uh, off that a off? shoe. That's off the, the toe of a shoe or the heel of a shoe. There you go. Just, well, that's just, pretty just, cool. To stop that, stop it wearing out. Yeah. You see, you see the little tax in it. See the little tax in it. So that, that's on been on, on a leather boot or a leather leather shoe. Probably more often than not on the toe. Those uh, little brass ones like that. There you go. Little uh, piece of lead. Lead, yeah. You can see we're bloody scratching the folks. <laughs> <laughs> Found two more bits of my uh, oh, yeah. my cup from yeah, last yeah, week, but uh, yeah, not that great this week. And you can see he's, he's pushing for the. Uh, I was holding out because this is my best find of the this day. Is his this is an old thimble that's been squashed. Obviously, it's um, no, but you'll know not in the best blokes, shape. But blokes who do do a bit of relic detecting and metal detecting. It's marvelous how many thimbles turn up around the huts, which means that it shows you a bit of social history that. The burly miners had a sewing kit. You know, they're yeah. there and there, and they had to, of course, because they, they had to be self sufficient if you're living out in the bush, exactly. bloody away from anywhere. But they it's funny, were <laughs> You see how many buttons we find? You think they, they must <laughs> yeah, have been too right. good at yeah, it? They were, no wonder they needed thimble. Yeah, yeah, they should have got the thimble out a bit more often. Oh, jeez. Right now, folks. Right, there we have it. Uh, I, I'm going to call it a draw, but uh, that won't satisfy us. So you, you can you thimble. can call in. Ant's, Ant's leading with his thimble. So yeah, it's, it's virtually thimble versus buckle, but I've got, I want that. And you, can you hold those? Up? Now you film it, Ant. Yep, I'll make sure it's in focus. Yeah, make sure it's actually on the stuff. <laughs> thimble and little tiny bit of- Buckle uh, and tiny bit of- Ah, uh, buckle and little, yeah, she's trying to steal it. <laughs> and this, well, I uh, off, off a door or whatever. Pick and, and then- No, no, it's like I From a door. Yeah, well, see that, it's been made like that. Yeah. Turn around there, so yeah. back.
bang that into a green tree, green green log, uh, and have your door on there. Right, now, folks, that's it. We're going to go and try and get some gold now. That's it. Let us know what you think. And also let us know whether you think Ant should blow off his curfew. <laughs> <laughs> Put, Don't try and get me into trouble, Glenn. <laughs> Put his engagement in jeopardy. <laughs> when are you getting married, Ant? 23rd of June this year. 23rd finally. of June. Yeah. I haven't got me. Glenn, Glenn I have has, not. <laughs> the invitation is there. The invitation is there. I've told him already. So if he doesn't come, it's on camera now. Right. Been right. invited. Good on you, mate. All right. We'll see you soon. We'll get some gold. See Cheers. you, mate. All righty. Rightio. Ant and I are where we started the other day and we're finishing here today because we wanted to try and end with a bit of gold instead of finding a bit at the start of the day and then never find anything else. <laughs> I've been going along this gully and I've dug these five or six rubbish signals and I've been waiting for something to happen and it finally has. This is a good a sweet signal. Sound, but isn't it? It's it's a 50-50 one, you know. Really? Just, Sounds pretty bloody. Yeah, well, I like where it is because, so you've got these stones to trap any, exactly. any uh, they've dug a big drain down here and they've been throwing out. But you've got these stones and you, you'll often get gold on slopes. So when you yeah. are in somewhere, don't be afraid to have one leg up and be going up and down the slopes. Just don't do the flat because the water comes down the slope, meets a lip and kicks over and it loses its grip on the gold. You'll get a lot of gold on, on slopes and on and on lips, but anyhow. Sounds good. Let's see what this one does. We're, 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 we're only spitting distance of where we dug the one that we didn't think was gold last week. And if you weren't watching last week, subscribe now and you'll be able to uh, watch them all the time. So that piece turned out to be over a grand, grand and a half almost that one. Yeah. It's a good little bit. It was a nice little nugget, yeah. Oh, that sounds good. This ground has been disturbed, so it's not it's not as though it's in situ, so to speak, but you can you can see how it hasn't been washed. It's been thrown out, dug through and washed. It hasn't been washed, so you can see how they get Mm, still in there. Missed a little bit. It's grown greatly. So I like it. Where are you, mate? That doesn't sound any worse either, though. No, it doesn't. It hasn't got big and ugly. Yeah. Still promising. This saves. No. Right. Yeah. So there's the turn, there's the time. You're on a blind date. It has, she hasn't turned big and ugly. <laughs> I think she might be just a little bit too good for me. I think it might be a bit of gold. Oh, can you see it? No. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was you. <laughs> I, I, I thought I had... <laughs> I thought I had your eyesight. <laughs> In the hand? Yep. In the hand. Righto. Here we go, Glenn. Here we go, Ant. Oh. Did you see something? No. <laughs> I thought I did, but there's just a bit of quartz. He must be. Oh, there you are. Look, 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 look. Bit of colour? If colour you mean that. Beautiful. Look at that. Well there done, he is. Glenn. There he is. He's nice a bit, bit of gold. It's yeah. coarse, isn't it? It is very bloody coarse. Mm. Yeah, you say. That hasn't been in the, in the river. So that's nice. We've bloody, uh, we're ending the day with a bit of gold. Sun. No, I have a go with that. Put him in your hand, mate. Very yeah. nice. Geese of geese. He's not real heavy. Mm. Uh, we always get carried away with our, 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 <laughs> our guesses and say, oh yeah. <laughs> I think it's about 15 ounces, isn't it? <laughs> it turns out to be a tenth of a gram, but... Uh, well, I'm going to say on, 0.7. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It'd have to be on the fat side, half a gram. Yeah, surely. Oh, yeah. surely. Yeah. yeah no, so that's our, that's our first one. On the board, got a bit of gold So we've got a bit of gold. Ant's got a signal nice. over here. He'll get himself set and then we'll film him. Awesome. <laughs> well done, Glenn. Thumbs so up. We're finally, we're finally... Oh, not finally, shit. But we're away and... 
He's not a bad little bit. Yeah. He's not a bad little bit at all. He's very, as Ant said, he's very coarse. Yep, beautiful. He's, he's like me, he's dirty and coarse. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Right, well done. It's good on you, fella. All right, our Ant landed the signal. He's just getting, he getting kitted up again. took his kit off to come over and film me. Now I'm returning the favour and going to film him. Uh, so. He reckons there's one, he's laid that stick on it so he can come back to it. See that parallel stick, or vertical stick rather. So you latch onto it. Have you there, Ant? Yep. Oh, yeah. I'll get over this side so I've got sun in the back. Yeah. That's better. Well, our ants use the 4500 here today. We've got a lend of it from a mate of mine called Brian. Good on you, Brian. Thanks, Shout Brian. Out. Appreciate it. Yeah, we do so. Yep. We're buggered without it. Anybody who's been out and tried to share a detector knows how frustrating it is. So, uh, a lot better if we've got one each. Oh, and I've christened my new golden boy, my new new digger that you bought me, Anthony. That's it, that's it. So first we, day with a new digger. New digger and got, day, a, got a bit, day, so that, yeah. that, was, that was a good result. Three days. I'm careful on this slope. I yeah, that's it. right, yeah. Yeah, no, it didn't sound real big, did it? Oh, well, it's still there, that's a good sign. And it's, yeah, growing, so... <laughs> I moved around so I had my back to the sun, but I moved this so I'm facing the breeze. And now I'm, uh, I'll probably die, have an early death of bloody d dust in the lungs. <laughs> <laughs> Which miners complain, a, a lot of the miners got miners complain, they had a lot shorter lives than the ones that were working underground. As we know now, dust is bloody dangerous. It sure is. I don't think it's me sucking down a piece of those pool. Now, I'm determined to see this before Anthony goes. <laughs> I've bloody got that squint on I get when I'm trying to read the BSV numbers on bloody telephone bill. And so, yeah, that always works. Got excited. Run your coil back up, see he's still there. Oh, he's still there, that's good. I was worried you might throw him down the hill. Oh, no. <laughs> don't say that. Can't be far away. No, but I don't mind it when it goes to the bottom of the heap either, because it's uh, specific gravity carries it to the bottom of the, the heap. You know, it's heavier for size than the dirt. Yeah. Oh, it's over there. Yeah. Unlikely spot. Now, Ant just got this signal by poking up under the logs and. and we've been taking all the rubbish signals out. We haven't been ignoring the rubbish signals. We've been. Oh, he's in his hand. Right. I've got, I'm looking over the top of the phone. There's no good me yelling at yeah when, uh, when I hear the noise. Take the dirt. Yeah, that's the way, mate. Drop him off. There we go. All right. Not far away. There he oh, is. Gosh, he stands out like the proverbial. Right there. Look at that. I'm saying look at that. I'm, can you see it? Yeah, lift him off the coil, will you? Because I think I'm making your uh, detector go yeah, off yeah. with my with the phone. Look at that! What a beautiful piece! That's a nice little bit, isn't it? And another coarse gorgeous. one too. Yep. Yeah, it's, another, it's another flat, another but one. it's beautiful, yeah. isn't it? Oh, that's a gorgeous bit of gold. Yeah, bit of character. Yes, yeah, so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, give me that. I reckon Ant's supposed to pick you up at five. I think it'll be 20 past five. <laughs> <laughs> well, surely we can't go now. No. Oh, Christ, oh. no, no. That's all right. That's mm. bloody good. Mm -hmm. I thought, uh, I was expecting a little round one mm. for some reason. I thought it'll, it'll pop up. Well, that's Beautiful. Awesome. I'm going to get mine out again. What, what do you reckon? Who's got the biggest piece? Oh, I think yours is going to be. You reckon? Well, yours, yours will be heavier. Well, that's, what, no, well, that's what it's going on. That's yours what we're going is, on. Wait, it's all about yeah, the way. No, yours is... Good mine's flat. Hold on, then. Put that next to it. I'm not so sure. Really? Well, the weigh-in will tell us. Yeah, oh, yeah. The crowd will go up as oh. one if you bloody... Uh... Oh, that would be amazing. Oh, yeah. No, 
Oh, no, nah, yours is chunky ass. <laughs> Right out. Time will tell. Time will tell. It'll be that's, an exciting way. Yeah, in. that's another thing to look for. That's, an, that's of course, one of us lands another one. Didn't you say you had a, a noise up here? Yeah, yeah. I want you to come and have a look at something, then. So right we'll out. be back soon. We're, that's good. We've got two here in this in this sort of red soil. They're all in those, those three that we've dug lately have all been in this red soil. But I think that's more to do with the fact that other times when I've been in here detecting a few years ago, the detectors were bouncing the signal back a bit off the red soil. I want to say a few years ago, probably bloody 10 years ago. Uh, and these detectors are more efficient, so they're plucking them out of the red soil. Not so much that they're all in the red soil, it's just the ones that are left are in the red soil. Right out, folks. Give us another thumbs up, Ant. Right out, Ant. I are working against the clock. We've got to get back. And, uh, but we want to get gold as well. I've got a signal it's here. It's tough when the signals keep coming, isn't it? Yeah, it is so, Ant. Um, I just went on record that I said we should go, and you said no, just stay. <laughs> <laughs> just stay and I'll smooth it over. <laughs> got a little signal here. Not married to it. Couldn't say not married to it. Uh, we're talking about Anthony and Camilla. But <laughs> uh, so it's in the area. Mm -hmm. We've got one on the bank behind us. and got one on in the gutter. And I've got one below him, below him in the gutter. So, and it's in the right sort of ground. Yeah, likely area. So, and it sounds good. So we'll give ourselves a chance. Yep. That should have stirred him up. Mm. Mm. It's still in there. He's staying small like he's... Uh, the sound stone small, which is sort of similar to that one you dug. Mm. Not that I, I'm bloody happy to, I don't want to hear, hear a big horseshoe noise. I know he won't be gold if he turns into something big. Yeah, that's good. Well, not in Western Australia. Or... It's going a bit. Well, he didn't, yeah, it has. I'm not bottoming you out. No. Nah. That's going, surely. See it coming out, Ant, did you? No. Oh, Jesus. Right. No, that's rubbish. That doesn't sound good. No, not, see, he's shutting. Mm. Not just crackling, he's... Shutting down. Shutting down. All right, folks. Go back to your tea. We'll try and get another, another one. Right now, it's quarter to five. Ant's got to pick up his fiance at five o'clock, and he's 17 minutes away from the place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make it by a piece. So, we're gonna have our way in. Now, that one's Ant's, and that one's mine. We've got them only about a metre apart. Place your bets on which one you think is, is the biggest. That one is as thin as bloody boarding house <laughs> butter. This one's a little short fat fella but there's not much in it i don't reckon i still reckon yours is going to be a which one bit bigger which one uh which one do you want on first ant let's check mine on first go for yours right out right. so put him on yep yeah what do you reckon before you put him on i reckon half a gram oh shit he'd bolt that in wouldn't he you reckon oh, no reckon. it's oh yeah oh, oh. Point <laughs> five two point is five it two. Yep, 0.51 yeah. half a gram. Oh yeah? Yep. Geez, that was a good guess. Yep, not often I guess it correct. <laughs> right. All right. So and that's I'll... put that's put the pressure on me because I, I don't know whether this one would make a half a gram or not. I reckon yours is going to be 0.7. Oh, get to the foot of the stairs. <laughs> I, I don't think so. Right out here. Right, let's see. Here he goes. Right. Oh, oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> on yeah. the money today. Yeah. 
God. And just when you thought I had your head. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I thought you had me, yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, uh, no such luck put today. Them both on. Yeah, so the plucky challenger couldn't take off the wily veteran. Nah. And a total of 1.25 for the day. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's a good day. We had a short day. Yeah. We got We've our got some got nice our relics as well. Oh, I left mine in the car. Yeah, and got his. But I got uh, a nice thimble. I'm thimble. With that. I got my bang up buck, buckle. buckle. Yep. Very nice. Some sort of little bit of decoration. Not to, yeah. not to mention, uh, if you were selling on eBay, a hand-forged uh, wooden door hinge. <laughs> hinge. <laughs> well, Hank, grab your gold. Cheers. Thank you very much, Glenn. Well, we had a good day, mate. Yes, uh, it was a pleasure. No other uh, matters of business? No other business. Rightio. We appreciate your comments. Thanks, and guys. I had a bloody great day. I always grin when I read the comments. Anne has to answer them all. I, I, <laughs> but I, I love reading them, and it's bloody great. Thank you very much for taking an interest in us. We and, appreciate uh, it, guys. Next time we go out, hopefully we get something a bit bigger. But if we don't, as I always say, get out of the bush, have some fun. That's it. That's it. Enjoy. And when, when I was talking about detectors last week and saying, hire one or buy one, don't be afraid to buy a second-hand one. Don't get caught. Don't get scammed by someone. But second-hand ones, often a bloke will have had one. Uh, one of our uh, blokes commented on I can't pluck his name out at the moment. He's up in uh, Cape, Cape York. York. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Starts with H. Yes. Anyhow, he yeah. bought one, uh, 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 5,000, 5, in really good nick, you know, probably for half the price. Mm. And that's the way things are going. So keep your eye on the second-hand ones as well. Yeah, definitely. Right out, folks. A lot Cheers. of fun. Out from Ant and Glenn. See you next time. Cheers, guys. Go, Ant. Go, 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 go. <laughs>